Hey guys, this is Aaron. We have a video coming up from 3D Base Camping this week where Aaron Farr talks about how SketchUp is integrated in her day-to-day -day business. She works at a company called Trilogy, which is custom design and home building. She talks a lot about how SketchUp makes an impact on what she does day-to-day. She's not actually a real heavy SketchUp user. She doesn't go in and actually do design, but there's some cool stuff that she shows in her presentation that is definitely worth seeing. You should definitely check it out on Friday if you have any interest in integrating SketchUp into what you do for a living. Um, there was some cool things that Trilogy did that I kind of keyed in on as I watched her video. One was they create these images, these, these one sheets that they pin up inside of their buildings as they're going up to show people how things are going to come together. What is this going to look like when it's done? What does the sink going to look like? Fireplace, um, that sort of thing. So they actually take renders or images right out of SketchUp and put them onto a piece of paper to post up. It was kind of cool. It's a cool thing to add clarity to the construction process. But what I liked is the idea that you could have a standard template and plug models instantly into it to get those same similar looking drawings out of layout. So that's what we're going to take a look at today. So let's go ahead and hop in. So here's SketchUp and I have a couple of models. My first one I called Powder Room 01. You will never guess what the next one's called. Um, in here, I created some standard scenes. So I have this one overall scene, just kind of a front looking at this wall with the, the counter and the sink and the mirror. Um, I have a profile picture, which is looking at the side of the sink, kind of blown up in a little more detail. I have a faucet scene where I'm looking down on the faucet from above. And then I have a close up of the tile. So this is not the greatest tile material I know. Um, Trilogy does a great job of using a lot of photo textures, so their images are a lot nicer, but uh, this gives you an idea kind of of how I've set this model up. So with four scenes, if I look at my other model, which some of you probably guess is Powder Room 02, a uh, very similar look here. So I have scenes that are pretty much the same. Front view, a sink profile, where I zoom in on the side like that, a faucet view, and then a close-up of the tile. So this is very important to what I'm about to show is that these views be very similar. They're, they're about the same spot in the SketchUp window. So if I could come over here and I, I switch to one, it's a little bit bigger, but it fits in about the same space. So once I have multiple models with these same scenes, it's important that the scenes not only look the same, but have the exact same name, I can hop over into layout. So I'm gonna start a brand new layout. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with a standard template. This is just a letter page uh, portrait mode. And what I'm gonna do in here is I'm gonna set this up for a repeating page that I might wanna use for these details. So down at the bottom, I'm gonna put, this is kind of my, uh, what's going to represent my title block. I would probably come in here and, oops, I wanna make sure that when I do that, I wanna put this on every page. So I'll switch my layer to on every page and I'm gonna put my Here's my title block, and I will put a bunch of important information goes here. Okay, so that's that would be maybe maybe my own company title block information about what this is seeing. So I did put it on every page. So as I create more pages, which I'll do right now, you can see it's actually at the bottom of every page. I'm going to flip back to default now. And I'm going to come into, on this first page, page one, I'm going to say insert, and I'm going to grab that powder room 01. Hit open, and I'm going to resize that. Fill up this page. This is my, uh, my big, beautiful drawing of the whole location. All right, so that's that first scene. That was the default. It showed up as the default because that's what I had saved or ha what I had up last time I saved. I can always check by going to scenes and saying, make sure front view is turned on. All right, looks good. Now I'm going to hop over to page two. And rather than inserting again, I'm just going to grab this one, control C to copy. And I'll hop over here and then edit, paste to current layer. There we go but I don't want that same picture on the, on the second page. That would be kind of redundant and maybe pointless. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this smaller and maybe make it about, I don't know, that biggish. 
Now we'll right click and we'll go to scenes and tell it to put my sync profile there. And I'm going to copy it by clicking on it and holding on the modifier key to copy. Slide it right over here, right click, scenes and give me my faucet view. All right. One more time, modifier key and move to drag that down. I'm going to resize a little bit. Something like that. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to resize a little more to give myself some some room for some text between these images. And right click and scenes and give me the tile view. All right. So in here if I wanted to now, I could actually come in here also and put, you know, info about this view. And I'm going to cheat a little bit and copy that over here. Copy that straight down. All right. So this right now is kind of my template. This is a set of details that I want to print out regularly when I have these uh, powder room details or pow powder room models that I want to put onto the job site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file. I'm going to save as template, not just save as, but save as a template. And I'm going to call this my powder room details. I'm really getting a lot of mileage out of that word powder room, really enjoying it. Not a, not a word I've used very often. And I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to come in here and start a new project. This is where the cool stuff happens. Rather than picking a standard template, I'm going to come over here to where my templates is. And this is a function of SketchUp 2019. So the UI is a little bit different if you haven't seen this. It can be accessed 2018. The UI is just a little bit different. And I'm going to choose Powder Room Details. So that's going to show up looking a whole lot like my last job. In fact, it kind of is my last job. What I want to do now is replace the contents of all these images with my Powder Room 2. So I don't have to actually come through here and update each one of them. I can do it all at once by coming up to File, Document Setup. And then right here, it tells me that right now my references, the only reference I have is linked to Powder Room 01. What I can do is click Relink and then choose Powder Room 02. I'm going to click Open. And at that point, Look, without doing anything, I didn't change any scenes, I didn't move anything else around, I can actually just click through here and see that all the information now has changed to my Powder Room 2 details rather than my Powder Room 1, just by relinking that file with a different model. Now, it is important. You do, like I mentioned this before, you do have to use the exact same scene names. It doesn't really matter what's in the scene. It's going to put whatever that scene is, but those names do have to be exactly the same in the two files. And then that template will just grab that scene from that file and put it over there. If you don't have a scene with that name, then you're going to get something else and it's not going to look the way you want it to look. But it's kind of a cool use of relinking models into SketchUp files. So hopefully that's pretty cool. Hopefully you come back and watch Aaron's presentation on Friday. If you do like this, go ahead and click like down below. And if you want to be notified of when Aaron's video goes up, subscribe and click the bell down below. Most importantly, leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought of this video and if there's other things that you think would make good videos or different workflows that would help you out. We like making these videos, but we like making them a lot more when they're doing something that you want to see. Thank you.